राम राम सा The palace of Bundi even in broad daylight is such a palace that man built for themselves in uneasy dreams the work of goblins rather than of man these are the words of rudyard kipling during his visit of bundi state in 1899 bundi most famous part of the palace is chitramahal in front of chitramahal is a splendid courtyard now overgrown where fountains once played the goldfish swam in lily pools it was probably this courtyard that prompted colonel tor to write in 1820 that whosoever has seen the palace of mudi can easily picture to himself the hanging garden of semiramis around this courtyard lies a gallery the chitrashala lavishly decorated with murals some of the finest ever in the history of rajput art painted in the style of bundi school of miniatures these murals are executed in the characteristic shades of blue green and maroon they cover a wide range of subjects on the maroon dados are depicted a series of elephant fights high up are the scenes from the legends of lord krishna battle scenes lovers dress scene of gar palace etc whenever you look inside the inner chamber of the gallery with its murals in glowing colors untouched by the effects of sunlight and rain over the centuries When Rudyard Kipling visited Bundigar Palace he saw some of the later frescoes being painted he noted that there was a great deal of activity and noise there like a broken beast comb with the whole hive busily at work the results are fine examples of wall paintings in the distinctive bundi style with subjects ranging from palace life to scenes of lord krishna and gopis all of the paintings in the chitrashala painted pavilion in gar palace are exquisite examples of bundi style popular subjects include the krishna leela and ragmala scenes bundi style school of painting it was one of the finest in whole of india the palace had a dark and tangled history and there are numerous chilling legends associated with it like that of a missing treasure According to an old legend there is a secret treasure hidden inside Dargar Fort that each ruler was allowed to visit just once in his lifetime the treasure was guarded over the centuries by a family of loyal pathan retainers unfortunately the last of the old pathan died during world war 2 taking the secret of treasure with him when the young maharao bahadur singh returned from burma where he was a serving during the war he launched a major treasure hunt within the fort but nothing was found the treasure must still be there somewhere the rulers of bundi were also close to the mogul darbar and embodied much court culture the palette of the bundi painters is often quite muted with patches of strong color for contrast court scene portraits illustrations of religious and classical poetry and the rag mala were produced in large numbers in the 18th and 19th century much fauna and flora such as banana trees and flower beds were often introduced as if to recreate the green verdure of this eastern rajasthani state rajasthani paintings combines the exuberance of bright primary color with the vigor of strong bold lines early paintings illustrated religious and rhetorical texts such as bhagavata gita purana gita govinda ramayana and ragmala from the mid 17th century court portraiture and genre scenes gain in importance the style of rajasthani painting differs from state to state and from minor fifth tone a variety of social religious and ethno cultural differences gave rise to many distinct schools the four major ones being mewar marwar hara and dundar several minor ones include kishangar alwa and ajmer local people believes that the riddle of treasure 
is painted on the walls of Chitrashala. Whoever is going to solve the riddle, going to get the treasure. Or we also can say like this, that the treasure itself waiting to be discovered in Bundi. Come and visit Bundi. Padharu Maridesh.